Oh, and we actually just jumped into part two of this video just because just because part one took a long time to record. Yeah, just because I recorded part one for a long time because this is actually because the yearbook's a little bit longer since it's a little bit bigger. That's why. I gotta catch a yearbook section. I'll show that off. Fun fact, this is something I didn't know until now. Um, they did not actually release a yearbook in 1953 and 1954. They, only released, they released them in 1951, 1952, and then 1955 onward. And these are the yearbook covers. <sighs> And it actually shows what place the Red Sox came in in these yearbook sections. They came in third in 1951. They came in third in 1951. They came in last place. They came in sixth place in 1952. Yeah, they won 87 and 67 in 1951, coming in third place. Came in sixth place in 1952, going 76 and 78. 1953 and 1954, they came in fourth place. 1955, they came in, f and then they came in fourth place again in 1955 and 1956. They came in third place in 1957 and 1958. And then they came in fifth place in 1959, seventh place in 1960, came in sixth place in 1961, eighth place in 1962. Because they weren't as consistent during that time until 1967. In fact, 1951 was the first time they released a Red Sox yearbook. It was in 1951. And then 1953 and 54 were the only times they didn't release a yearbook. And then they came in 7th place again. They came in 7th place in 1963. 8th place in 1964. And then ninth place in 1965 and 1966, which I think that was last place during that time. I could be wrong, though. And they came in first place in 1967 and won the American League pennant, but they lost the World Series against the Cardinals in seven games, which they, all, which they also lost the Cardinals in seven games in 1946. And then they came in fourth place in 1968. And then the Cardinals went to the World Series again that year, but they lost to the Tigers in seven games after they blew a three-games-to-one deficit. And then the Red Sox came in third in 1969. And, and 19, Red Sox came in third in 1969, 1970, 
and then they came in first in 1975, and they they won the ALCS against I don't know what team, but I gotta I gotta look that up on my phone. I gotta look up on my phone who the Red Sox beat in the 1975 ALCS. I just do not know off the top of my head. Okay, I'm Google searching it actually. Okay. Okay, for the 1975 playoffs, the Red Sox, the Red Sox swept the Athletics. The Red Sox swept the Athletics in the ALCS. Then they lost to the Reds in the World Series in seven games. 1976, they came in third place, which the Reds went to the World Series, which the Reds won the World Series again that year. This time though they swept they swept the Yankees that year. And then nineteen seventy seven and nineteen seventy eight they came in second place. They came in third place in 1979. And then there's actually a description on the side of the yearbook, which I'm going to read the ones I find interesting. Okay, Red Sox came in fourth in 1980, came in f fifth in 1981 in the first half of the season. But the second half of the season, they got better, and they came in second. 1982, they came in third, and they actually have a lower record in 1981 because there was a strike, and that split the season. Came in third in 1982. Sixth in 1983, they came in fourth in 1984, fifth in 1985. And fun fact, the 1983 yearbook was the 13th and final time that Carl Yastrzemski appeared on the yearbook cover. Nomar Garcia Parra appeared on six yearbook covers, as well as covers as well as um. And then Roger Clemens, Mo Vaughn, and Pedro Martinez have been on the cover five times. Carlton Fisk and Jim Rice appeared on the cover four times. And then Evans and Smith appeared on the airbook cover third times. And then in nineteen eighty six the Red Sox came in first. They beat the they beat the Angels and the they beat the Angels in the ALCS in seven games after coming back from a three games to one deficit. But they lost to the Mets in the World Series in seven games. 1987, they came in fifth place. And then the Red Sox came in first place in 1988. But they were swept by the athletic. But they were swept by the athletics in the ALCS. They came in third in 1989. They came in first in 1990. But they lost to the athletics. But they lost to the athletics again in the ALCS. Yeah, both years they lost to the athletics in the ALCS, which they got swept by them, which the Red Sox had swept them in 1975 in the ALCS. Then the Red Sox came in second place in 1991, seventh place in 1992, fifth place in 1993, fourth place in 1994, which they finished in fourth because of the strike. They came in first in 1995, but they lost to the Indians in the ALDS. Came in third in 1996, fourth in 1997. 
They came in second in 1998. They won the wild card that year, but they lost to the Indians again in the ALDS. And then 1999, I'm going to hold on a sec. Uh, and then the Red Sox came in second again in 1999, which they won the wild card again. They beat the Indians in the ALDS. Then they lost to the Yankees in the ALCS in five games. Then they came in second again in 2000 and 2001. And that's all the history in the yearbooks, people. And then the last thing, as always, this is the 2002 roster, roster for the Red Sox. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.